my virtuous people welcome to virtual distance skills my name is nancy in today's skill matters what we have for you is how to make ghanaian watch made by a nigerian woman which is me <laughs> can you see how beautiful that rice looks like if you want to know how i made it then sit back let's get right into the video Wache is one of the Ghanaian best food made with rice and beans. The recipes we have for the Ghanaian wache are 1. Our 2 cups of rice. This is our Nigerian normal rice. You can use any rice of your choice. Okay? This is our Nigerian normal black eye beans. You can use any beans of your choice. Okay? This is exactly how it looks like when it comes from the shop. Why this one has already been parboiled by me, as you can see. The Ghanaians don't parboil their beans like this, but rather, they soak their beans for 1 to 3 hours to get rid of excess gas. But as a Nigerian, we parboil our beans to get rid of so much chemical during storage. This is my salt. This is my millet leaves. You can also call it wache leaves. I have just three strands here. It is a bit lengthy. I am the one that cut it short short so that it will enter my plate, okay? Right now, as you can see that my water is on the heat already. What I want to do is to add my washed millet leaf inside the water and allow it to boil so that I will use the water, okay? On this stage, you can add your baking soda if you want the color of the wache to be so booming. But for me, I'm okay with this. The next thing I'm going to do is to cover my pot and allow it to boil. Okay? Can you see that the water has started boiling? And can you also see that the color of the water has changed? It is the work of that millet leaf. What I want to do now is to turn off the heat and then remove the millet leaves from the water so that I can use it and cook my wache. Right now, I want to add my millet leaf water inside my clean pot. After which, I will add my beans and spray it out and then cover it and allow it to cook for at least 80% done for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, let's check the beans and see how it is doing. Wow, can you see how beautiful that looks like? It is 80% tender to add our rice. Now this is my wash rice. I want to add it. I add my salt. I add more of the millet leaf water. And I stay it together. And I cover my pot and allow it for 25 minutes on a medium heat. Right now, after 25 minutes, let's check the rice we added if it is tender. Wow, the rice is tender. Now, I will stir it a bit and I will introduce my foil and cover it on a low heat. And I will allow the little water in it to dry well for 3 minutes. As the watcher is drying well on a low heat, let me walk you through the Ofada stew that we'll be using to enjoy the watcher today. For the Ghanaians, they use their watcher stew or their sheto, which is also very nice. But as a Nigerian, I am going to use our own designer stew to enjoy it. Can you see the metemede in this stew? Mm, this is lovely. After 3 minutes guys, let's check if our wache is finally dried. Wow, it is finally dried guys. On this junction, our Ghanaian wache made by a Nigerian woman is ready. Guys, let's go to the table and do it some good. Guys, the Ghanaian wache made by a Nigerian woman is ready as you can see. I am going to serve it with our Nigerian of father stew with assorted meat including egg. I have kelewele in there, I have some spaghetti and cucumber as well. 
I have this Kilewele video and a father still video in my channel. If you have not watched that video, please do try and watch them. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy what you see today. Subscribe to our channel, share this video and also drop your comment. For those of you living in the diaspora, you can get the millet leaf in any African shop or better still, you can use a baking soda to achieve the beautiful color. Try this recipe and give us your feedback. This is all we have for you for today. Thanks for watching and we will see you in our next one. Bye-bye.